Welcome to Delta Delta Pi Mighty Kappa Psi Gamma Alpha Sigma Theta. No! <laughs> now, for some of y'all, that may seem like a long name, but we here at Delta Delta Pi Beta Kappa Psi Gamma Alpha Sigma Theta Nu, we pride ourselves on being smart enough to handle any mouthful that comes our way. <laughs> I'm your sorority president, Beverly Cooper, and it's so exciting to see so many pleasures this year. And it's great to see a lot of you wearing our house color purple, because you know pink is so unoriginal and was already taken. <laughs> now, before we begin, I trust you all have taken your oath of secrecy, which was administered upon your arrival by our in-house pre-lore, Amy Winters. <laughs> hey, girl. It is extremely important that anything we do or say here tonight never leaves these walls. Apart from the stuff that makes us look good. <laughs> okay, now, we all know the expression, you don't know where you're going until you know where you've been. With that sentiment in mind, I just want to take a moment to remember our foremothers who fought for our right to be here today. I'm talking about none other than the first ever sorority in the United States, founded in 1867, Pi Beta Phi. They may not have been pretty, but boy, were they fierce. Okay. Now, even though Delta Delta Pi Beta Kappa Psi Gamma Alpha Sigma Theta Nu is one of the newer sororities on campus, we still strive to uphold the same ideals and values that these first women represented. We pride ourselves on our diversity with members from over 40 disciplines like fashion design, like myself, fashion history, fashion journalism, business for fashion, fashion photography, and so much more. We even get chances to the born majors like pretty law. <laughs> Amy, because you know, everybody's treated equally here. Okay, we also endeavor to give back to the community, like spending time with children, the old, and poor people. We're actually holding our monthly Little Miss Makeup on a Budget class tomorrow, found it by me. And for those of you with skills and events planning, we're also currently running a local retirement home workshop on funeral planning, how to go out and style. Also found it by me. <laughs> okay. Now, as role models in the community, it is important that we maintain a healthy lifestyle and exercise daily. Which is easy with our new facilities such as the Delta Delta Pi Beta Kappa Psi Gamma Alpha Sigma Theta New Gymnasium and Spa. But please, ladies, remember to always adorn appropriate footwear. We don't want another endemics of warts like last year, <laughs> do we, Amy? <laughs> okay. At parties, we always encourage you to choose our signature drink, the Crazy Cranberry Cocktail Cooler, copyright protected. Not only is it good for keeping those lady parts infection free, but it also tastes like sunshine in a glass. <laughs> okay. Now, speaking of parties, ladies, when attending co-ed functions with other fraternities, I strongly advise you not to give away the whole farm too soon. We don't want to be taking away Omega Kappa's reputation for the sluts on campus, okay? I mean, after all, they've worked so incredibly hard for it. Especially that no good tacky extensions wearing boyfriend stealer Celia Carson. I digress. The most important ideal our ancestors stood for was feminism. Helping each other, sticking together, and showing the world what woman power is. And if we maintain this principle, we'll be sure to kick ass at this year's annual sorority smackdown and beat those mega kappa whores to the ground. <laughs> okay. Now, you'll only be able to compete as a member if you pledge successfully this week. So without further ado, I present to you your first challenge. It involves none other than our mascot, Ricardo the Unicorn. <laughs> Now, y'all, we're not crazy here. We know there's no such things as real unicorns. Ricardo is a roe deer, born with a rare antler deformity. Now, as a friend to the animals here at Delta Delta Pi Beta Kappa Psi Gamma Alpha Sigma Theta Nu, we adopted this poor little creature and chose to view his deformity as a proformity. And so he became our magical little unicorn. <laughs> now, 
Your task, ladies, is to feed, bathe, and groom Ricardo, and then take him for a walk down to Omega Kappa Sorority House, where he likes to do his business, but you must do this without anybody seeing you. Okay. Ricardo is out back and so excited to meet y'all. Just one thing, though. Ricardo is sensitive to bright lights. So if you want to take a selfie, you got to turn the flash off on your phone now, okay? <laughs> Good luck, ladies, and remember our motto. We're not men. We are woo men. <laughs> now make our ancestors proud.